Let's talk LeBron, Big Bron. Big Bron been on the block. He been going crazy. Um, you know, we didn't talk many a times is this LeBron James best playoff ever, et cetera, et cetera. On and on and on, we continue to go about this. But genuinely, um, as someone who is not a LeBron James uh, fan, but also not a LeBron James hater, I've been very, very impressed with this play this season. I think he's easily made himself. Um, I think this is. I think this is some of the best work that I've seen from him all around. Uh, uh, the the. I'm not gonna argue in favor of LeBron because I still feel as though he has basically been the key to his own demise through all of it. Kyrie Irving would threaten to have surgery. And actually, I wish and he probably wouldn't have been actually no anyway. no. But actually, I wish he would have had the surgery because then that way he could probably could have been back for the goddamn finals. Like get traded to the Celtics. I'm gonna have surgery. I'll come back after the All Star break. That probably would have been way better than what's happening right now. And then they damn near might be in the finals, and we would be able to see Kyrie Irving during the goddamn Uncle Drew commercials. But he didn't want to play with LeBron anymore. It couldn't exist with LeBron. Dwayne Wade couldn't exist with LeBron, and not because they didn't like each other, but because everybody else didn't like Dwayne Wade existing with LeBron. You got rid of Jay Crowder, who's who did way better in in Utah. Since got rid of Derrick right. Rose, who did way better in uh, you know in Minnesota. Right. You wonder why? Because Ty Lue is a terrible coach. No, it's not. That and all the they do is throw the ball to LeBron, and we'll figure it out. You need certain type of players for that. That's system. the one thing people don't give Phil Jackson enough credit for is when it comes to X's and O's. Phil Jackson, Steve Kerr, Greg Popovich. Are some of the greatest ever because they although they all they yet. although they had the great offensive players they put them in positions to where they didn't solely have to be the sole beneficiary of everything and even Mike never had to be the sole beneficiary of every single thing when he was going crazy he was going hot give Mike the ball get the fuck out the way but Brian literally has to make sure that everybody is a benefactor on the team everybody has to get the ball everybody has to be open I gotta dribble the ball T Lou not dribbling up no plays where 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 I got two of my shooters coming around the thing while I'm also passing the ball off on that's the screen and diving to the hole that's not true. and then coming back around for that's a flare true. screen for a three. If you that's look at not, Cleveland that's recently, not the triangle the that ain't Steve Kerr was, offense. Screens for player or shooters coming off screen. Yeah, yeah. and also back but that's screen. the point though. That's not going to be a fluid too. offense when I'm locking down your shooters. That's what you nah, saw in game not, one and game two. Nah, not, when I lock up your shooters, what you going to do? When Jr. not doing they didn't this really lock up the shooters though. They were missing open shots. They didn't just, really lock up the because shooters. Because they were closing the, the space when the they got close to them. So then when they got older, I mean, so then when they got later in the game. And no, they, they and were they missing shots from the offset. They were closing. No, they, they were missing shots from the offset. They were also offset. closing out on them fast. Go back and look at that game and look at how many closeouts they had on them threes. And look at how, how many, many open shots they missed as no, well. they were closing out very fast on those shots. Cleveland's offense has also, like, bro, he got a whole new team in the Bron middle has of the been playing, It takes time. Bron has been playing good, but I don't feel bad for Bron because Bron did this to himself. So he been playing good. I mean, yes, what, I'm gonna give him some praise, but I, but like I said, he's not gonna make the finals again, and he put this on himself. I mean, I don't even think this team is like ten times worse than the, than the team last year. Obviously, you don't have Kyrie there, so I mean, you don't have Kyrie there, so it's a little bit. I don't think it's ten times worse. I don't think they're that much worse. You take a top ten play off a team, and they're not ten times, and they're not worse. They're worse, they're but worse. they're not that much worse. Maybe like two times, three times. But yeah, but they're not like they're not. You saying it like they went from fucking. If Kyrie Irving on the floor, they losing to the Celtics right now. I don't know. No. The fuck is wrong with you? Though. No. What's wrong with you? No. What's wrong with you? But if no, but hold on, wait. If the Cavs play like the way the Cavs want to play, they not losing to, to the Celtics either. What well, way are they supposed to play? They don't have an identity. What's the Cavaliers' identity? Le- I, well, yeah, look, no, no, listen, no, 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 listen, no, no, no. You heard right. Listen, listen, LeBron. Listen, listen, the Cavaliers' listen, identity listen, is listen, LeBron. Listen, the Cavaliers' identity is LeBron. Listen, listen, listen. LeBron, listen, goddamn James. Listen, listen, listen. You're you're not wrong in what you're saying, but again, no, I no, I'm listen, right in what listen, I'm saying. But listen, but listen, but listen, listen. I think Cleveland is finding out on the fly what their identity is. The offense that they're running they now is different. Listen. To. Listen, the offense that they're running now is different from what it was two weeks ago. That's why Kevin Love has been playing much better. They've been helping him out, getting the man the ball, getting the man some post touches. He's not just a spot up shooter um, anymore. Also, you've even seen the pick and roll with um, Braun and um, um, George Hill. That wasn't there a month ago. You've seen the pick and roll with uh, George Hill and Kevin George Love. George Hill after nine points there. a game. But gee, what you, you talking mean? to me about a pick and roll He's between? He's a role player. He's a fucking piece. They matter. The others matter. The, do they not matter? The pick and roll with the point guard that averaging nine points a game. Yes, it matters. That way you don't have Braun pounding the ball into the ground yeah, yeah. all game. 
at least take some pressure off him. Now you can play 42 minutes. You ain't got to bring the ball up court. And also, George Hill is a pretty good defender. That's what people don't realize about George Hill. He's a good defender. It's a reason why Terry Rozier ain't averaging 25 points right now. He's a good defender. Like, G, like, G, this team is a solid team. They have pieces. You looking too much at, like, oh, this guy can't go out there and give you 20. That's not their fucking job. Their job is to just do, do your job, give me your average, and we cool. So, no, yes, you did lose a Kyrie Irving, but you, any player you lose, you can find you three guys to level up to what that guy could give you. Which is why I always... And who are those three guys that give you what Kyrie Irving gives you? I mean, on any given night, you got enough people. I told you, the one thing I um, look for in teams, like, okay, no, they don't have three stars, but they have two all-stars, bona fide all-stars, and they have enough guys that can equal up to 25 and 10 or something like that. Like, for instance, on any given night, um, George Hill, J.R. Smith, and um, Thompson can equal up to one player, can equal up to an all-star guy. See, I don't think they can replicate Kyrie's productivity, though. I haven't, Maybe not. I haven't seen it enough. Maybe not. They can but, do it for one night, but they can't do it for a whole series. But but look though, you got but look, you got other combinations of guys. Now you got Corva, you got Green, you got Clarkson, or maybe one night you got Corva, you got Hill, you got uh uh Jeff Green. Like you got enough combinations of guys that if you just do your job, because one of you are probably gonna do a little bit better than what I expected, one of y'all might excel. But as long as you just do your job, we will be okay. We will be fine. You act like it's completely impossible. It's not. Just do your job. Give me your average. What would happen to Boston if um, Jalen Brown, who was averaging 20 points, just started averaging 10? Shit not going to go right. So Jalen Brown and J.R. Smith the same player? No. But the, that's the, not why what are you saying. talking about this? You're that's just not what I'm about saying. The averages, the averages the bro. The point is that they got five of the guys behind Jalen Brown that can do that. Guess what? Behind Kevin Love, there's no one else there. Yeah, exactly. Behind, Kevin behind, a behind Kevin like, Love, ain't nobody else knocking on that door. That's why they don't have a better team. That's why they're going to lose. And that's why, yes, LeBron James is putting up a good, good numbers. But, of course, if you're giving him the ball every single goddamn opportunity, but, then, he, of course, he's going to play good. I do not expect... LeBron James to ever come out again in the playoffs and have bad playoff performances. He's too old. He's too seasoned. This ain't 2011. He ain't no little ass boy. He a grown ass man. He's still strong as hell. He's still one of the most healthy and well conditioned athletes. He gonna come out and play well. But don't tell me just because LeBron James is on the team that they got a better team. This is not That's the better. That's not why I said that, but, though. But, look, but listen to me. They do not have the better team. So you're expecting the others who have been inconsistent throughout all of the nine games that they have pretty much. They, they haven't been inconsistent. Gee, we just saw the Toronto series. So what's consistency then? What's the con- Toronto series. You're nine and five in the playoffs. G. No, but you, you no, wait a minute. Too much wait a minute. You nine and five in the playoffs, and four of your and four of your nine wins came against a team that everybody said was scared of you, and and literally like yeah, I think they got rid of the, their head I coach think that's immediately, down in the and the head coach might fuck around and win a goddamn though, head coach of the year. But look, though, I think that's down. That's in the like Dirk winning the MVP at home if, if, listen, when they lost to the Wizards. Listen, I mean, I'm sorry, well, I'm sorry to the Warriors. What's going on? This with is you? why I think everybody's overreacting about the Raptors because again, like I said, um. Oh, yeah. The series easy could have been 2-2. It could have. Like, they didn't... It wasn't like they got completely overpowered four straight times. It could have easily been a um, 2-2 series. I just think Cleveland played out of their minds last series. And that's... That's where I'm at with it. Whatever. We're not going to agree on that. Getting back to LeBron, this is his best season. And it's going to be his best season without a ring. It's not. Have you seen him him shoot? Exactly. Braun wasn't doing this shit before. About this. I've he seen, was more effective. I'm seeing him post. Before I'm he was him, more effective. I'm seeing him take fucking 18 foot fadeaways and then exactly. look at him. I, I think that shit's going on every single time he shoots it. From, I'm seeing him shoot from three. I'm like, you know what? He's probably not going to miss that anymore. I've never said that about LeBron. From a skill I, standpoint, I said LeBron, make him shoot. You'll probably win. Please, and this year, please Celtics, please win game four for me. Please. LeBron James has never me. been as skilled of a me. basketball player as he is right now. And I don't think that's. It's not a it's not a far stretch. I didn't see this against uh I didn't see this in Miami. His all around game is better, but he's not as potent. I disagree before, with that. Before no no, nah, nah, before he was like old school rocket fuel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, before he was like that new Elon Musk rocket fuel, whatever the fuck they using to get to space as fast as they get into now. And 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 and, and old LeBron is like the shit that they was using in like ninety five. No, it's I'll still say- great and it'll still get you into outer space. But you're going to be traveling in there a little bit longer, and it's going to take a little bit longer to get to your destination. And guess what? He's no, not getting to his destination. No, I'll rephrase that. This is the best 
offensively LeBron has ever been. Yeah, but he's slacking on defense because he's wasting so much energy on offense. So you mean it? So exactly. If Bron is Bron in 2012, 2013, letting Jalen Brown go out there and be the most dominant player on the other side of the ball? No, so that's for another team. This no, might not be his best season, but number wise, offensively, it probably is. I, that's that's why I don't give a fuck about numbers. Watch the goddamn games, bro. Wait, what? Twenty twelve and twenty thirteen, bro. Would make, not. No. They don't even make. I, 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 well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh nine, Bron, let he do Turkaloo go crazy on the man. I'm not talking about oh nine, Bron. I'm talking about Bron once he was a champion. Because he on a better no, team, he on a better look, defensive look, team. Guess what? Guess what? There's three eras of LeBron James. There's pre 2011 LeBron James. There's 2011 to 2016 yeah, LeBron look. James. There's 2016 and on LeBron, LeBron James. We in the third area of LeBron. We in the third era of LeBron James. Stop talking to me if as if LeBron, LeBron James, James. Stop talking to me as if 2009 was not damn near 10 years if ago. If LeBron James 2009 was, was listen, damn near 10 years ago. What would you? If you LeBron, was posting wild man shit on the internet listen, in 2009. You sit up there talking to me like you the same person you were 2009. Listen, that's what you ain't the same person you was three yeah, years I'm ago. Better. So don't talk to me about I'm it. I'm better. That's the motherfucking point. I'm, you, what you mean? That's the you point. Mean, so 2012, Bron is not letting what what 2009 Bron let happen in from Hito. I Turkaloo. disagree with you. Look, Come listen. On, man. Come on. 20, 2012, Bron no. is also on a much better defensive team. I think that LeBron's defense has slipped so much because they were a horrible defensive team for most of the year. They were fucking awful. He was, you not going to be a he great was defender on the worst. He rated as the worst and defensive player in the NBA. And the defense was the worst defensive team in the NBA. He was the that's worst. That's what happens. He was the worst. Because you have to cover for a lot of people. Like He was the worst. That's what happens. He was the worst. Because you have to cover for a lot of people and you want me to go out there and score we cover for a lot of people. First of all, you got IT on the court. He five nine. Yeah. Start there. Jr. wasn't um 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 defending well. Crowder wasn't defending well. Then before that, you had D Rose. So D Bron- Rose don't really play no so defense. So Bron getting all the IT switches and they going crazy on Bron because he getting no, IT switches. That's what you telling but no, me. But you don't Bron play getting IT switches. So he like going. But you don't play defense by yourself. But you don't play defense by yourself, bro. Really, but you really, don't play really, defense really, by yourself, bro. You act like you play defense by yourself. It's a team game. You do nothing by yourself. He was stuck playing team. D for a lot of the series, oh a lot of the season, God, he had a cover for oh my God. Kevin Love. How IT, many? Like, like if they if they made this many excuses for Michael, it's not like, an excuse. Like if, Mike, if Michael Jordan lost as much as LeBron James, we would not fuck with MJ at all. But LeBron literally gets to habitually lose and fucking and be the sole reason why they lose and the sole reason the why they win. Like, he no according to everybody, yeah, LeBron is the sole reason why they lose. And I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The others are the sole reason. Why they lose, and he's always the sole reason why they win. But for no, some reason, don't listen to the blog boys. Don't listen to the blog boys. Yeah, like you listen to Nick Wright. Sure. Yeah, I did. No, I just spent about twenty minutes praising the teammates. <laughs> We spent a whole section on Praise, why Kevin Love pra- is better than Al Horford. Praising the teammates that help get you down in a one-two hole. That's the point. It happens. Okay. They play bad. Right. But okay. when they play like they play, they'll be all right. Okay. <laughs>